world trying to heal the world. So those were the Parla tones. They are like the U2 of South Africa. Such a great band all over my iPod. And I just had a chance to hang with them a little bit. And I love them. And they're one of South Africa's greatest exports. And so is wine. Although you might not know that because wine from South Africa has remained a bit of a hidden treasure. Uh, the region's been doing wine for hundreds of years, but it's only since apartheid ended in the early 90s that the talent and the, the capital became infused into the areas of Stellenbosch and other areas. So let's go over four types here. Um, in terms of white wine, the Chenin Blanc grape is probably the most famous. So here's our first wine. This is a Mulder Bosch from South Africa. So you get a peachiness on the nose and a wonderful crisp acidity. It's just creating daggers underneath there on my tongue. Delicious. This would be amazing summer wine. Chenin Blanc from South Africa. Now let's try another one. This is the De Morganzon. So much great acidity and so much complexity, which we grape nuts, that's what we're looking for. I almost get, in addition to lime, some toasted hazelnut and then back with some honey. Um, it's just a, maybe some fig. It's really an incredible wine. Okay, let's go red. So a red wine, the signature red wine of South Africa is Pinotage. And let me tell you. People hate um, Pinotage. It almost feels like when sommeliers are in psalm school, the first thing they learn is to dislike Pinotage. And I think one of the reasons is because it's kind of an unusual crossing. In 1925, they crossed the Burgundy grape Pinot, Pinot Noir, with the Rhone grape, a saint -So, and created this new grape variety that's pretty much only done in South Africa. And for decades, it just wasn't done very well. And at its worst, it kind of has like a burnt rubber or matchstick quality to it. But here's the thing, don't believe all the haters. If you choose carefully, there are good Pinotages out there. And it's drinking bravely because you're drinking something a lot of wine people aren't drinking. So. Again, you have to choose carefully. This is the Cano Cop Pinotage. Got this at Chelsea Wine Vault here in New York. Plum, black currant, a lot of coffee. Smooth and delicious. None of this burnt match stick that a lot of the haters talk about. So Pinotage can be very delicious. If you want to stay with red, I think the grape that South Africa might be doing the best is Shiraz or uh, uh, Syrah. And here is a wine that proves that you don't have to spend more than $15 from South Africa, named after a mythical bird, the Kanu. Big, earthy, black currenty, and something that you could drink in winter, but you could chill it up a little bit and drink with your barbecue and it would be absolutely luscious. And lusciousness is basically what South African wine is all about. So drink bravely and we're going to let the Parlatones take us out. Take it away, my Parlatone. Hope she thinks that I look well groomed Rock, paper, scissors, scissors, cut, 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 cut it out